Hi everyone. Hey, I wanted to wish you a happy Mother's Day if you're watching. Mother's Day is here. It's May and we are preparing for Mom's Day at Ackett's Pie Company. We get very busy on that Friday prior to Mother's Day and of course you know we're open Sunday. So uh, very busy and I, I know in Armada where I'm from the Armada flea market is now open so that will bring uh, a tons of people out um, because there's a, a lot of greenhouses there selling all of their plants and I know that they'll be selling a lot of hanging baskets and a lot of flowers so when we first started in the pie business 28 years ago that's where I started selling uh, setting up a little booth a little table there at the Armada flea market I believe you know we probably have about 10,000 or more people would walk through there Mother's Day would always be a very busy time for us people would go and buy a hanging basket and then come over and buy mom a pie and uh, I remember the very first year that I was there we started out selling maybe a dozen pies on a Sunday on a good Sunday well not a good Sunday it would still be cold in April and then I remember the following week we'd, we'd bring maybe 14 or 15 pies uh, the following week we might up it to even get really brave and bring 20 pies and the way I did it at at the Armada flea market was you know like I said we started out small I'd watch the weather channel didn't have internet back then so we'd watch the weather channel what's the weather gonna be like on on Sunday so we knew not to bake too many pies right if I did bring too many pies um, it was always really great to barter with the other vendors that were there and so it was a very rare thing that I ever brought pies back home. But I would trade and barter. You know, all of the vegetable dealers were there, the vegetable, you know, or plants, um, flowers. The spice lady was there. Uh, just uh, swapped and traded. I think that's going to be uh, a really great thing uh, to get back to here in this country. I bet you have a house full or a garage full or a basement full of stuff that you need to sell. One man's junk is another man's treasure, right? So I've bought a lot of things myself on Facebook Marketplace. But I would encourage people to really reconsider their jobs. Are you dreading getting back to work? Whether you work at a, in a cubicle at a desk job or in a factory or in retail or where do you work that you are just dreading to go back. Let me hear in the comments below. And what are your ideas to change your life path? If you want an idea, <laughs> they, I've got some ideas for you. I would just love to see more people getting into regenerative agriculture. If you've got a little plot of land, you should be able to turn that into a vegetable garden, an organic soil building, regenerative agriculture garden. Even if you have a quarter acre, uh, you can make a lot of money. Uh, I have been watching the urban farmer, Curtis Stone. Check him out, guys. He's in BC, and he has given us a great example of how you can support your family and have a really nice livelihood on converting people's front yards, backyards. Uh, you know, if you hate cutting grass like I did, um, I'm on 10 acres, and probably 7 acres were being cut. And I'm like, I, I can't see continuing to do this. This is not healthy for the planet to cut all this grass. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of fossil fuel. And uh, so I fenced it in and I got some sheep. So my sheep are grazing and, and cutting most of my lawn anymore these days, as you know, if you've been watching this channel. So, um, but Curtis Stone is really great. I've purchased his book. Um, he shows you everything about putting in watering systems and how to keep weeds out and how to set up at a farmer's market and how to be profitable. He has a lot of great information or you can even take one of his classes too. So he travels around a lot and goes to various farmers market. But wouldn't that just be a wonderful life to be able to grow vegetables or flowers and sell at the farmers markets, you know, two, three days a week or even having people coming right right to your farm. I'm gonna encourage you today to make a change, do something good, all right? We've gotta work hard though. All right, guys, I feel free to um, comment below in the comments with your questions or your, any questions that you have, or uh, reach out to me directly through my website. All right, you guys, wish you a good day. Bye-bye.